Lex here. Hey everyone! How's it going guys? So today we're super excited. We're going to do something very, very good. Yes. As you can see like in the description. So this has taken forever. And this is by this by this time now it's almost like a meme. Yes. It's been highly requested by Gorgon. Gorgon the hybrid. Yes. Gorgon the hybrid. He's going to be so happy <laughs> because basically that's... There is this, um, I, I don't know if they use it in the, in the States, but there's this saying, it's called persistence, persistence comes, overcomes resistance. Mm -hmm. So he was so persistent in the comment section that we finally caved in. Yes. And, and stopped it. resisting. <laughs> Reza, no, I'm not sure. So, um, no, no, it's, no, we it were was never more like the It was more the like the time issue yeah. because of the requests and Look all the here. stuff we, do, we were doing. Oh, Marty's here. <laughs> Um, so we said now we have time. We have more time. Let's do some Russian. Let's let's do. Um, we're gonna do uh, Cygnus mm -hmm. X one from book one from a Farewell to Kings, and then right away after that we're gonna do Cygnus X one book two Hemisphere. Exactly. So, there you go. From so our good old Hemispheres album. Right. I, the first one's also called the Voyage. So it's book one, The Voyage, mm -hmm. from A Farewell to Kings. So crazy. So that's basically going to... And I, and what's like... funny is that this one, Farewell to Kings, came out in 77 and Hemispheres in 78. 78. So right after yeah. each other. Right. Like, So as you guys know, like if you've been following us, so this after Hemispheres, we basically have heard the entire Hemisphere album, mm -hmm. and then the uh, Farewell to Kings album. We are we have heard uh, Xanadu. Mm -hmm. We did that live, I think. And Cinderella, Cinderella, Man. Cinderella Man, and now the Voyage. And I think I don't know if we heard um, close uh, closer to the heart. We did here, and we've well, heard it before, but not on the channel. Not on the channel. Yeah. But we've heard it in the movie that we yeah, watched. Yeah, yeah. So we should maybe do closer to the heart just to, you know, yeah, seal the deal and right. farewell to kings and, and Madrigal. Well, but we'll tell you guys we've heard this before. <laughs> yeah, okay. like a like a like re listen. A re -listen. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I like those because those are songs that we've heard before that we can talk about endlessly. Or even talk about... And we already know basically what we want to talk about because we already know certain exactly, parts. Exactly, so, exactly. Yeah. We so, know, for example, that um, Closer to the Heart is a song that was not really loved by Neil. Mm -hmm. He thought it was very cheesy and very mm -hmm. like... He's like, I don't want to play that um, so much. So that's just like something we can mention. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'm ready for a super marathon. Me almost too. 30 minutes of music. We will Can't pause. Wait. So we will pause a little bit, yes. not too much, uh, because then we would be sitting here for like two hours. Yeah. But I mean, we will talk a little bit. Oh, you know, yeah, in definitely. All, All right, right. Let's get started. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Thank you so much uh, to Gorgon the Hybrid for uh, not only for pushing this so much, but also for uh, your constant love and support. Yeah. Um, you've been with us on the channel for a very very long time and we really appreciate having you here and all of everyone else all of our rush army or as we call them we're, our rush we're family make them happy thank you i'm uh happy that uh we're able to do rush and to come back with this strong one so yeah here we go are you ready yeah i want to ask okay. you something alex did you want to turn on the light or with no light oh maybe Oh, it doesn't really make a it difference gets darker. right now. Yeah, okay. Because in 30 minutes, a yeah, light can yeah, change yeah. quite That's a lot. That's very, very okay. true. Okay. All right, guys. Thank Here you so go. much for your support. And let's go. <laughs> okay. Wow. I can't believe we're doing this. I know. Time. First time ever.
psychedelic. Everything, the intro, <laughs> the, the stops, the doodle doom. Yeah. I don't know what was going on. I, I don't need the time remember. signatures were insane. Yeah, they were very like you couldn't even predict them. No. They were, like, but the riff was so cool. I love the whole the like robotic voice. Now we don't have the lyrics pulled up because we want to focus solely yes. on the music, but we will. We know that Neil the, Wright's beautiful lyrics will go back and we'll listen go to back. them, but we, we swear. Or read them and listen. So you wrote down something. That I wrote down the time signatures because they were yeah, just so off the charts. Like <laughs> because <laughs> when you said, "Oh, you should learn this lick," at the beginning, I'm like. On the bass, I was like, oh, yeah, it's, it's not that bad. And then I was like, oh, my God, it's really hard because of the yeah. timing. I mean, to play along would be really difficult. Yeah. But wow. Yes, and then yes. this whole, this bam, ba, dam, ba. I don't know if it's from Jacob's Ladder. It sounds but very But it sounds familiar. from something. It does. From another album. And Dream Theater does this as well mm. because they're inspired. Yeah. And influenced by Rush. But wow, what a great. And now getty just kicked like kicked i know in, so. i know well great keyboards neil is really on fire here like <laughs> he man is. that's why gorgon Gor Gor gorgon gorgon thank you so I, much yeah i know you it took it took time but we appreciate it yeah and now i know now why he wanted this 
to be played. Exactly. Yeah. And I and he was obviously not the only one. We've had many, many comments from people asking for us to do these and that's why I made sure to do both book mm -hmm. one and book two because and, and it's this not a order, marathon this is not a request this is right. from the comment section yes exactly for you guys. we so. love to uh be able to do what a lot of you want us to do because mm -hmm. for that's, us to know that we're pleasing so many people at yeah. once and it's also it's like awesome. a, like literally a reason that we said okay we're gonna take you know, a uh, uh, time off from the requests. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is an income for us, you know, that helps with the channel. But we said we want to focus more on the channel itself. Right. And on the, you know, on the quality and, you know, and maybe make a little bit less and invest more time. So, yeah. yes. And I think it's worth it. Yes, know? because you guys are worth it and your love and support and donations that some of you have given. And it's just heartwarming. But, Let's go back. Yeah, um, we rewound. We rewound. We, we rewound, rewound it. Yeah, so, exactly. So Getty's. But I'm loving in. this, and I also so want to mention the beginning with the voices and the so robotic, very psychedelic, very psychedelic, that. very yeah. like. But those ambiental. five minutes, guys, it was like twenty seconds. Exactly. I'm not I even can't believe it's this. been five minutes. Yeah. Okay, here Let's we go. go. Invisible to telescopic eye Infinity, the star that would not die
talk about the boys now, sir. Wow. has a ripped it's gonna bleed over the sickness so i'll let it bleed to... over yeah let's oh my god that over. voice i want to talk about that voice oh, in a second it reminds me of someone me too Let's just talk about Cygnus Book One okay. for a second here. Like the way uh, is the this, what, um, light a little like, bit. Like, yeah, that's you? perfect. That's perfect. So uh, I mean, um, Tony, if you're watching this, como uh, se like dime si o no, like prove me wrong. Yeah, I mean, no, no. What I wanted to say is like, doesn't that voice like just between us right now and all the people that love Watchtower? Uh, and um, the first, the second Watchtower singer, no, the first Watchtower singer, little, literally Getty was singing like him. Were you going to say something? I, I was going to say, uh, it reminded me of like Black Sabbath, like a very mm. raspy. Ozzy? Yes, Ozzy. And totally different than yeah. Getty's uh, vocals. It, it reminded me of this Even guy. a year later. Really? The guy reminded me literally of, I think it's called uh, Machio or something. Um, but definitely from Watchtower or even King Diamond as oh. so high. And oh my God, this whole like song was just a master, like masterful. Mm -hmm. Like uh, book one. Is it called book one? Am this I, like, one saying? is book two. Yeah, no, so, but I'm talking oh, still about book yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Book one. Book one was just like uh, off the, the charts. I, I think or something. the whole, the voyage, like at the yeah. end, like the whole like syncopated stuff. And I think, and I say this a lot when it happens, but I think that's my favorite Rush song. Like so far. Yeah, it's very, very good. I really, really enjoyed like, it. Like literally, because it was so good, it was epic as hell. Like, I wish just like even like, yes. you know, like, wow. Everything, the musicianship on that song was amazing. The the, the solos with the crybaby uh -huh. pedal. Just like the timing. I was wondering if that was a crybaby. It was, yeah. When I do this, I mean like, yeah. you know, crybaby. And like, I'm just like, I, I'm the, the voyage for me was, it was literally like a trip. Like it was a voyage. It was so good. It, I, for me, Right now, it's my favorite Rush song. Wow. Really <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, I know, but maybe it's so fresh and it's so new, but mm -hmm. it's really like 
I love instrumentals and I just love it. I mean, it, he did sing, but mm -hmm. not as much. Right. Now, going to hemispheres. Oh, my Lord. Where should I begin? I mean, we're like a minute in and I'm already like, I this love this. so much. The, these transitions feel this song in general like I one feel song. has that rush vibe very yeah. strongly the first one but that's it even, was I said very it out rush loud. it sounds so rush the first one yeah because yeah. it's only the drums the bass and the guitar it's like that three but piece. it is it is rush but i don't know i guess maybe because it's part of the Hemispheres album, which has, uh, like, La Villa, you know? Yeah, but this, even that part sounded like, I think it's La Villa. It mm -hmm. sounded like La Villa Stagiato or Jacob's Ladder. I don't know, but that that riff that when we're, like, looking at each other, mm -hmm. that sounded like some other song. We've yeah, heard I don't know which one it was either, but it definitely sounded mm -hmm. familiar. Yeah. Yeah, but this song... I'm enjoying this very, very much. And it's much. just what, what, only yeah. 70, what, only 17 more minutes to go of, like, awesomeness. I yes. love it. Like, that's what I love about Rush, that you sit here and it's, like, entertainment after entertainment. It's, mm -hmm. like, section after section. After section. Exactly. There's not a lot of repetition. It's so interesting. And it's, it's so, so different than what you've heard yeah. before. I mean, pro, for Prague fans, this is heaven. Like, exactly. Rush. No, and even when I said this sounds like Tool. Oh, in the yeah. first one. Exactly. It sounded like Tool. Yeah. That riff it did sound very like drop D, like. Mm -hmm. And of course, Tool got it from, from Rush. Uh -huh. I mean, this is 70s music. Yeah, I know. You know? So, so crazy. Okay. We're going right. to go back. Thank you so much yes. for you know, listening to us blabber. But, you know, we have to re have to get it out. Otherwise, we'd forget everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, here we go. Okay. <laughs>
This song is just amazing. I love this. I love those chords and the yeah. bass, and it's literally too much to remember. Like the last ten minutes have just been like so I one think change like, after the other. You've been taking notes. Yes. Like just like throw them yes. out, you know. <laughs> because and I got the uh, paper because I knew that it would yeah. be so. I long. should have brought also something. But like, I was just gonna say that something that's very. Um, let me take these off for a second. Uh, something that's very, like, characteristic, I guess, of Rush is Neil's drum fills. Like, mm. I mean, they're so hard to compare to anything else, anything else because they're, they're so tight. They're so fast. And also, they're so unique because, like, like if you, can, you can't even compare him to, like, like, uh, John Bonham mm -hmm. because I mean exactly. John Bonham when he came out he was like whoa right John Bonham right but Neil Peart is just so much more technical and creative and and I don't want to like throw any shade to John Bonham is a master mm -hmm. like amazing drummer mm -hmm. but Neil Peart was just more like just more interesting not as like, like exactly. loud and hard but very particular exactly and very right. precise like every single so good. the way he hits every single drum like, is boom, 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 like they're like very small like i don't know exactly. but i mean this whole song this recurring theme of this doom, 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 very doom, doom, great and then when alex did bom, his harmonics bom, 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 that bom. was awesome yeah oh yeah the that solo really really yeah, cool yeah. So i really good. really like this this song is I mean both of them. I'm sure this should be played together, like literally. Like the mm -hmm. way we're doing it, I think, is the right way. You have yes. to listen to them together. I agree. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but I mean it's very good. <laughs> I'm having I agree. a very cool experience. And I uh there was one part that Getty was singing that sounded like he was sped up almost, like his voice was so high yeah. that it sounded like he was sped up. It was really funny. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, it is very, it is very high. Also, guys, please in the comment section, I wanna, I wanna uh, read a big kudos to Alexia, like because she does have very, like, bad back problems. Oh yeah. So sitting for her, sitting like forty minutes, just sitting, the perfect posture, <laughs> you know, and trying to like pay attention is very hard. That's why we don't do long song mm -hmm. so please give it up for Aww, alexa in the comment thanks. section i mean you know yeah um i don't have a problem i could sit here for three hours but yeah. alexia after 20 minutes it's it's is it starts to be in a lot of pain mm -hmm. so give it exactly. up for alexa in the comment Thank section you, i can so just much. see the way she just like <laughs> switches and switches and if you can stand up if no you want, no if you it's okay i think something happened here because we were at like 11 something and then when you pause i think it went back because like look i think we were at no Yul's... no sweetie pie no, no no we were literally at eight yeah okay okay but... so there 908 is where we stopped yeah okay mm -hmm. all right we're gonna continue okay let's go here we go <laughs>
Wow, even the ending, even that little acoustic piece. Yeah. I mean, like, I wow. mean, just like Hemispheres, the song, book two Hemispheres, it's so complex. I mean, even like, I know there's react reaction uh, channels that like basically decipher everything. You mm. know, they, oh, lyrics and, and stuff? Uh, well, not the lyrics, but I mean, they like, for example, um, our good partner in crime. Um, Doug. Doug. I mean, he's a classical composer. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he can, like, say what's going on. And also, um, J um, uh, oh, JP, just J JP. J just JP. He mm -hmm. like listens Shout to the out. song. Shout out to JP. Amazing. I, I love his videos. Even though I don't watch reaction videos, but him I do watch <laughs> because he's so good. Because he listens to the song and then he breaks it down, and that's hard to mm -hmm. do. Um, but I mean, he must have like a field day with the drums because oh I think God. he's a drummer. I don't know. I think so, yeah. Uh, because he knows like all the lingo and stuff. But, but well, so back good. to the song. This is just impossible. Them. It's impossible to to break down for me. Mm -hmm. Even it though I'm a musician, hard. it's even hard to come up with the words of like what, what just happened. Doing. But mm -hmm. I mean, but it's greatness. It's great. It's wonderful. It's the one of the keys best. were off the charts in the song, and I love the little pieces of it that part that went silent and then it was like cars or memories driving by mm -hmm. you know with the songs that you said dream theater copied yeah dream that. theater did that what seems from a memory where you just like hear stuff from a different album mm -hmm. like they did it in metropolis part two and you suddenly hear stuff from like uh from from a song from their second album mm. uh which is uh, images and words okay so i think they got that idea from this because you could hear things from the voyage right and then i loved also when they like three minutes into the song they're just like oh i know and, and then I was something like, else wow, completely is it gonna... different and then it started. just continued they I just know. stopped to play that was so cool i know just the whole like the whole 45 minute yes. experience was amazing it really, like, thank really you was. guys for like you know sitting there and looking at us like reacting i mean i had a blast there I had were a, a lot. Blast. Yeah, and there were a lot. I mean, I think like Hemispheres sums up the entire like album in a yes. way. It's like because I could hear parts from other songs. Yes. I didn't know what I don't know what songs, mm -hmm. but if you guys would be so Please. kind and put in the comment section, I know you. someone is gonna do it. Like, oh, this part is from this, and this part is from <laughs> that, and this song is. From but this. we love that. We yeah, love that you guys share it. your we, knowledge. We, we and actually trivia. read everything you you leave yes, in the comments. Exactly. But so. But thank you. Any closing comments? I just want to say these guys are geniuses. They knew exactly what they were doing. And I always say this when I listen to Rush, I can feel the brotherhood that existed, the tightness. Yeah, that's really and cool. knowing their story and, and everything makes it that much better. But I feel like we've come so long in the year and months that we've had the channel that had I listened to this a year ago, it would have been different than listening to it now, you know, oh, yeah. not in a bad way, but just I feel so much closer to them. And yeah, we have seen them live. I mean, on screen, obviously, we have not seen them like live, mm -hmm. live because there were, I mean, of the passing of Neil. But man, this band is so special. I mean, I love Yes and I love Genesis and I love Dream Theater, but they have something that's very unique that nobody else. Yes kind of like does they, yes. they have their sound and nobody has basically been able to like recreate that and that's so cool because sometimes i do get confused like what is this like if you play something and I, and you don't know what it, and you don't say what mm -hmm. it is maybe like let's say emerson like in palmer or or yes or genesis or even like you know um what's it called well, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, yes, King Genesis, Crimson. King Crimson. That's the one I was thinking of. If I don't know the song, I could be fooled for a second there. Mm -hmm. I was like, "What? Which band is it?" When yes. I hear the vocalist, I'm like, yes, "Ah, okay." Exactly. Like or like you know, Jet Propel. Jet Propel is like two different. There, but those four bands, they kind of sometimes. Mm -hmm. But if I hear Rush, I know exactly that's Rush. Yes. I don't even hear the hear. I don't even. And have that's to hear why Getty. I said it's like it's. So different than everything yeah. else because 
while their songs and I'm not have saying they're better than everybody else, to them, but, but they're yes, but they're just so unique that you fish them out right away. There, you know, that's Rush. Exactly. Nobody sounds like them. Yeah. That's awesome. It it is very special to have that. Mm -hmm. Very very special. Yeah. So that's I what I this. love about them, and I just like I think we should do more Rush, and then I could hear some Tool in here. I could hear Dream Theater in here. I, they have inspired like so many musicians, mm -hmm. and they're not even the biggest progressive rock band, which yeah. is crazy. Yes, you know? and highly underrated, I think, mm -hmm. and for a long time, and still. Um, but it's funny how a lot of people say, "Oh, when I was listening to Rush, you know, I was like the outcast or whatever." I know, like, and even Frank. I mean, uh, uh, Frank, who's a dear friend of us on the channel. And he's like, and I told him, hey, listen to Animals, listen to Dark Side of the Moon. He's like, well, I did, but I still love Rush more. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, that, I, I don't blame you. you yeah, I, I of understand. course. They're very, very special. And they have something that not any other band, very I unique. think, can bring. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, yeah. but it's something. It's that Rush spice. That's yeah. <laughs> But thank you guys. Thank you. Please. This was also, worth the Alexia, wait. Alexia, thank you so much for doing this because, I mean, you know, you are here. You are sitting here for two, uh, 52 minutes, you know, and I know, like, I appreciate this. Thank you. And um, thank you all. Thank you guys, you know, <laughs> for like telling Alexia, to, you know, that she's a, a warrior here because, <laughs> you know, falling of a horse, uh, how many times? Many. 20, 30, 40, 50 times mm -hmm. that can screw up your back. Yeah. So, um, but I guess thank you so much. I mean, I can't any, I can't add yes. more. It's just like it's so good. It's this amazing. Was an experience. It was a, a re revelation. I'm gonna put these together. Yes. Oh, by the way, we have to make a playlist. People were like, please make playlists because I get lost. Oh, I have a rush like playlist. Dan, we should do a Steely yes. Dan playlist as well. Yes. Because People don't really know what we've heard and what not. Yes. And so. But always, if you're curious to know what song we've heard, YouTube search bar, Nick and Lex, the song you're looking for. If it's yeah. not there, it's not there. I think that's the easiest way. Even playlists sometimes can get so big. And how do I divide it? Is it a category or a band? But for now, I do have a Rush playlist. Okay. So this will yeah. be going Let's there. just make a Steely Dan one because yes. like a, somebody told me, us on the comment section uh, like, please like make a steely dan playlist and then maybe rush to because yeah. with these marathons you kind of get lost totally totally so, um, well thank you guys so much for being here thank you for all of your love and support uh we appreciate you spending your time with us and yeah. uh like nick said it is a little bit hard for me to do longer things right now all i want to do is just stretch yeah. and get I'm up gonna, like, and <laughs> but maybe you um, could also like um Sorry for interrupting, but if we do a live stream, we could talk about this yes. with other people. Yes, that would be good. But thank you guys so, so much for being here and for everything you do for us. We hope to see you in the next video. Thank Bye, you. everyone. Bye.